What, what I think about the character war is that uh, there's a, a lot more information out there and uh, there's terabytes and terabytes of data out there. And now it's a matter of how do we use that, those terabytes of data. And all that data is putting in the right place at the right time is gonna help make decisions. And we wanna get to be able to make decisions at machine speeds. And how do we use machine speeds, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and we can say that a lot, and those are all buzzwords, until you actually take the data and be able to connect it and build the algorithms and tools to go with it to provide uh, leaders and commanders decisions in areas where their information may not be completely clear, or the aspect of information overload where you gotta be able to parse through to figure out, you know, really to find the wheat for the, through the chaff to be able to, what is the right nugget of information that we all require at different levels. And the information I may need may be different from the information you need so we can achieve the objective and enjoy an all domain operations kind of concept. So uh, it's important from that aspect that the, you know, that's how shape of war has changed, the character war has changed, because it's not just kinetic and attrition. Um, there's a lot more aspects to this and we gotta be uh, really smarter about how we do this and then be cunning in, in some areas uh, about how we approach uh, warfare in the future. You know, as a military, um, Yes, we're designed to fight wars, but ideally we don't want to be there. You know, I work for General Fogman, and one of the things is, you know, we fight and win America's wars when called upon to do so. And that was a quote that he, he said uh, when I was his, his aide. And I always remember that, when called upon to do so. And so from that aspect, we gotta be prepared. Don't want to go to war, but if we go, we want to be ready. And that's an aspect of the balance that I have as it, it really, if, as a chief of staff, but all of us as leaders, how we balance that, uh, look at how we use information to deter and assure and compete, and then at the same aspect be ready to uh, engage uh, if we're called upon to do so. So there's a lot of things we've learned as an Air Force in our you know, nearly 74 years of, uh, of existence. But we also got to think and look to the future about how things have changed. And uh, you know, we can't tightly control things partly because of how much information is out there and how quickly information uh, flows. Uh, we see that in our operational aspect, but I think we see that in our day-to-day -day lives as well. And uh, we want to be able to have that bit of flexibility in our thinking as we move forward. And so that's why the com I look at Dr. the combination of the things we've learned historically, but the things we also need to learn for the future. And uh, you know, I think sometimes we, we want to try to base it all on things we've already done. Well, that means, you know, some folks say, we'll be fighting the last war. And we don't want to be in that, uh, that uh, area. And so we need to really be thinking about how that drives us to the, to the future. It's hard to be innovative and risk averse at the same time. It's hard to have mission command and be risk averse at the same time. And what we've got to be able to do as leaders is to make sure we provide our own with the best tools, resources, guidance, and authorities to go execute. And knowing there's going to be some risk involved. And we've got to be willing to take some of those risks to move forward. And that's how you, you, you make progress. Because if you do everything that's so uh, safe and it's ironclad, it's going to be 100% successful, you're not going to move the ball forward. And uh, that's, those are the kinds of things we got to do uh, through our doctrine. And as we build the culture of our Air Force, we need to build upon the innovation that started our Air Force and continue that uh, here into the future.